Hello everybody, my name is Ben and this is Daisy May <laughs> and today's cooking video is going to be what? How to make roast chicken and what is the bit of roast chicken that is your favourite? The chicken <laughs> and those things we're about to make Chicken. <laughs> Yorkshire puddings. Oh, Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> so Daisy's favourite thing is Yorkshire puddings, <laughs> and um, we're going to show you how to make them. So we will gather our ingredients, and we'll be so right back. We're back. We've got all of our ingredients, and Daisy is just going to tell you what we've got. What we've we got, Daisy? A cup of flour, a cup of egg, eggs, fruit. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> right. We're back. We've got all of our ingredients out, and Daisy's now going to tell you what we got. What we got, Daisy? A cup of flour, a cup of milk, three eggs, and a bit of salt. Perfect. And what are we going to do with them all? <clears throat> We're going to throw them in the jug and whisk them all up. Okay, so do you want to put the flour in? Do we need to sieve the flour or not? Can you just chuck it in like that? Yes. We can just chuck it in, it's fine. Okay, cool. And then we're going to do a cup of milk. What What is that milk you're using? Lactose free. Does do you have to use lactose free or can it be no. any milk? You can use normal milk or lactose free. Okay, and we use lactose free because your brother is lactose intolerant, right? Yep. Okay. But it does seem to work really well this milk. We use whole fat milk and it seems to make really good Yorkshires. Oh you have to be careful. Okay, awesome. Right now three eggs. Some eggs. That you're well, I'm going to crack them. I tell you what, you do, you do one, I'll do one. No, you do. I need two. to switch hands. Right, one, two, three. Four. I'm like, I'm gonna and you're doing that. I'll do this one. Always important to wash your hands, hey guys. Before you start though. Okay, right. Awesome. Now what do we do, Daisy? And we whisk it all up. Okay. We'll be back once we put the whisk together because we forgot. Just added a little bit of salt and we put our whisk together. <laughs> oh, it's a great a crazy risk. Right, put it all the way to the bottom and then turn it on. Put it all the way in. No, stick it all the way to the bottom and then, yeah, there we go. Wow. Make sure you get it all whisked up. know what I do how I um, take the whisk out how? leave it put it all the way to the bottom leave make it go running make it turn it on and then really slow really slowly lift it up really slowly okay now turn it off see now that you've got no dribbles on there Can I put it good trick yep yeah. right we'll be back uh, for the next phase which is going to be the beginning of our roast potatoes yeah Right, so uh, whilst I'm on my own and there's no one to help me, um, I thought I might just explain how we do the Yorkshire puddings. It's quite important. Um, and so we don't want to be messing around. What we need to do is, uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll be right back. Okay, so what we've got here is a standard sort of muffin tin. And I've just drizzled with one of these. This gives you quite good control over the oil that's coming out. Just drizzled a little bit of oil into the bottom of each of these. If you have a similar amount of oil in the bottom of each one, that helps. Um, and then we're gonna chuck this in the bottom of the oven now. Whilst everything else is cooking. It doesn't matter how long it's in there for, it's just in there to get hot. So you can leave that in for the whole time. We're gonna, we're gonna keep that in the oven just to get incredibly hot. And then when we take it out, we're gonna pop it on the side here, chuck it, uh, put the heat on the gas, get it really smoking. And then you put, pour in your 
Yorkshire mix into each pot about halfway full, quickly back into the oven, and then you leave it there for 20 minutes. Don't open the door because they'll all fall flat. 20 to 25 minutes in the oven, full blast, 200 degrees, and you are gonna get amazing Yorkshire puddings. Watch this space. Right, okay, so what we've got here is our Yorkshire mix and our stuff coming out of the oven, it's super hot. And now we're just gonna pour in our batter. Try not to get too much on the sides of it. Um, if you get too much on the side between the two pots, it will actually pull the Yorkshire down. It will stop it from rising as big as you want it. Um, you'll know I've got the hob on just a little bit underneath. The ones that are sizzling will probably get bigger. Right, and then quickly, quickly back into the oven. Quick, 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 top shelf. Make sure there's enough room above them that they don't hit the top when they rise. And then they'll be done in 20 minutes. Right, so uh, our Yorkshires are ready to have a look at now. Um, fingers crossed, let's see what's going on. One, two, three. Whoa, look at those bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> like popcorn, aren't they? Secret recipe. That, to make those Yorkshire. That's how you do Yorkshire's grade style. And our delicious roast potatoes. Look at those little fellas. That I just tried. Yeah, you'll notice that there's not as many in the pan as there was. That is because I took some of the smaller ones out. Before before we put the Yorkshire's in. Anyway, back up here, young lady. If, you're, if your Yorkshire's aren't like this, you've done it wrong. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>